Hello everyone. In uh, this video, I would like to show you how to use the Netmixel to recover the firmware or update the firmware on an AX12 using a CM530. First, let's describe the physical setup that we see here. So I have the connection to the PC. It actually done USB here, and then you have the uh, USB 2 dynamic so dongle here. Make sure that the slider is to the TTL setting. It is connected to this AX12A. Its ID is 7. And then from the power side, you need to provide power to the AX12A. So I have a LiPo with power CM530. And then from the uh, three pin TTL dynamic so port I just connected to this AX12A. So this CM530 right now it doesn't do anything fancy or any controlling order, it just I use it to power this AX12A. The controlling and the communication done from the PC is really done through the USB to dynamic so module right here. Okay, that's ready to go. So you have the dynamic so wizard up. I happen to have this USB 2 dynamic, so happen to be on COM20. So let me see if it's connected. Uh, this AX12A is dynamic, so 1.0 protocol. So we make sure you have it EXL1. So basic search, okay. That means it's uh, trying at 1 million bit per second or 57K. You can choose other options if you want to, but normally that should be okay. Uh, why we add it, you can have advanced search and then it's try all kind of different connections. Especially when you're in trouble, something happened to your dynamic. So uh, sometimes the communication uh, speed is messed up, so you have to try them all. And this takes a long time to do, but you may have to do that. So basic search, usually good enough. Start searching. Okay. It found it. It happened to be uh, ID7. And what if it's everything okay, you can just double check some quick checks. Like, you know, I'm just doing some uh, connection here and check, see if it really is okay. So you notice on this ID, uh, this dynamics of 24A, it happened to have firmware 24. And 24 happened to be the most current one for the AX12A. So when you do that, this option here, which is usually for the Dynamixel firmware update, you see it's gray out. So that makes the wizard know that, hey, you got current firmware already. So you don't have to do that. Next to it though, however, is the Dynamixel firmware recovery. This one is highlighted and you can use this one. So I'm gonna assume somehow it's messed up with my seven or somehow my firmware is not 24 or, or something has uh, happened to my uh, ID7. So I'm going to recover it. And I'm going to click on firmware recovery. You can have this warning message. Next, it pops up the notification. It's outside of the screen. So let me pull it in. So essentially, just remind you that you need to do only one at a time. Click that OK. Make sure we have COM20. Like on my PC, I have a bunch of other ones. So this is COM20. Click on search. You're going to say, yeah, it's connected again. And this is the tricky part. So I have to disconnect it from here and then reconnect it. Okay, so you see it's connected here. It's good. Next, make sure you choose the right one. AX12A. You can see there's a bunch of other things. Next. And then there's the notification. I put it in so you can see. Make sure, just remind you, make sure you have to, you can choose the right firmware. Click OK. And it does its stuff. Next. Finish. So then, and it's just connected from COM20, you can see also. So we need to connect things again. Do a basic search again. And you notice it had found it, but you see they reset everything to ID1. 
So mine was 357. I'm going to go back in, change to it, apply it. Usually I just make sure everything is seem to be there. Uh, center. So I'm in good shape. And then just exit down the mixer wizard. And you have recovered firmware on your AX12A or maybe firmware update that is needed or something else. 